Hello! Happy Sunday. I am live and I'm talking to you if you have sweet cravings. So this is some powerful information to help you overcome that sweet addiction that you might have. My name is Steph Hendel and I'm the creator of the Body Built by Love programs and I am somebody who works with women who specifically have done diet and fitness programs in the past and either haven't gotten results or you've gotten results and you haven't been able to maintain them. When that happens, this is something that has to do with the mind, the emotions, and it's deeper than just what to eat and how to work out. Some people figure out what to eat and how to work out and they're good to go. But most people do not. Most people have an emotional tie to food and working out. So that's who I work with. Anyway, let's talk about sweets. Who's on, by the way? Type your name. Say where you're from. Say where you're joining me from. So I'll get right into it. If you have sweet cravings, this is coming from your friendly neighborhood health coach over here who's um, not just a, simply a diet and fitness person. If you're eating sweet cravings, you're probably craving something else in your life. I see this all day long. And the reason I see it all day long is because, well, I've struggled it with my struggled with it myself in the past. When you are craving things like sweets, there's an emotional tie, especially if you're eating when you eat sweets, you eat so much that your stomach hurts or you're in pain or you just overstuff yourself or you binge. Ooh, Kate, hi, Katie from Glenside, yay, that's near where I grew up. I grew up in uh, Chalfont, Pennsylvania. Yay, so glad you're here. If you have any questions, type them in. We're talking about sweet cravings. This thought process came up because I was in Whole Foods today and I heard this guy talking to Josh, my fiance, and he was saying, I just have a problem with sweets. I need to give up sweets. And I said to myself, you don't have a problem with sweets. You have a problem, get this, with yourself. I'm talking to, I'm talking to not just you. Like I'm talking to past Steph too. Because the reason I was eating that stuff was because I was numbing out. I lost you there. The reason I was eating those foods is because I was numbing out from other things. I was not dealing with um, something so much deeper that if you don't figure this stuff out, guys, then you will never. You let, sorry, I'm not gonna put those words out there and ever. But if you don't figure this out, then your entire life you will yo-yo up and down, up and down, up and down forever. Coming from me, who used to yo-yo constantly, and it sucks, it's not fun. You want the consistency of a healthy body, and I totally get that. Um, I look back now, and I'm like, this is a totally different world. Oh, we've got somebody else who said, hey, Jennifer from Texas, all right. I spent some time in Austin. I spent about a month in Austin last year. It was awesome. So thanks for joining in. Type in questions if you have any. Back to sweets. Okay, a lot of the people I'm coaching have an addiction to sweets as well. And as soon as we start talking about why this is happening, where it came from, that's when we get down to the bottom of it and you start to see that you have an association built up and the sweets are just, just this shield on top. It's just like the tip of the iceberg. Like you have no idea how many deep seated beliefs that you have, they're subconscious, you're not realizing that they're even there, but something happened at some point in your life. I mean, guys, childhood and early adulthood, early adulthood is you have some traumatic experiences. You just do. And it happens because think about this, when we're babies and we're born and we just come to earth, we don't have any associations. So if something happens to us emotionally, that's emotionally charged, we feel something deep on an emotional level and we don't know what it is and it doesn't make sense to us, we make a story because we need it to make sense. Most of the time, these stories are false. But this, this false story becomes our truth. And we, I lost you, I'm back. That we live with this truth 
for 20, 30, 40, 50 years and a fake truth. And this fake truth is what sends us to the food, to overeating, to not wanting to work out. And let me tell you something, when you don't feel good, you don't want to work out and you don't want to eat well, here's a key to life. If you want consistency in working out and eating well, fill your cup up, make sure you're full. Make sure you're on full, not empty. Because when you're on empty, empty you does not have the motivation or the strength or the power or the energy to go work out, doesn't have the energy to eat good food, does not have the energy to make positive decisions for you that will help you move forward in your life. Oh, Misty's here too. Hi, Misty from Louisiana. Yeah. All right. She says, you're so right. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> but Misty, type in some comments if you have any or questions too. Just let us know if you have any. These things are built up from our past. And I'm talking to you because in my life, I spent a lot of time trying to figure this out and I got to a point where I was super frustrated. Basically, I lost 30 pounds really, really simple. And then, because of a lot of emotional things happened to me over a course of about a year that I didn't really even realize were happening, you know, it kind of just like, it becomes life, right? Life gets, we say life gets hard and we just deal with it. And that's what I was training myself to do. So I... Got, I stuffed a lot of emotions. I didn't process a lot of things. I got really triggered by stuff. And I gained all the 30 pounds back. And I said, you know what? That's okay. That's fine. Because I know how to lose it. I lost it before and it was simple. Last time I just knew, uh, last time I just learned healthy foods and I just ate those and that was cool. But this time, it didn't work. So I was like, what the heck is going on here? This is not good, and it was extremely frustrating. It lasted a long time of me working out harder than ever, eating the healthiest foods, no results. Trying to lose this 30 pounds. I was so beyond frustrated. I went to bed at night, and I couldn't sleep. I'd cry some nights because I was just so frustrated that this wasn't working out for me. And it was just really emotionally taxing because I thought, if I can't do this, well, I can't do anything else. These are just all the crazy stories that play in my mind, played in my mind. And, you know, I'd wake up in the morning, look in the mirror, and I'd be like, that's not me. What the heck? Why? What's going on? And little did I know at that time that it wasn't, it didn't have anything to do with food and fitness. It had everything to do with the emotions that I stuffed, the blocks that I had, the things that I've never dealt with, and the associations that I built to be my truth when I was young. So, <laughs> as, I grew, as I progressed in this, I thought there's got to be something else to this more than food and fitness. So, I made it my mission to find it, and I spent a long time studying it, like obsessing over it because it fascinates me, and learning how much it's your mind, the thoughts you think, what, the thoughts that don't come out of your mouth, those mean thoughts that you think about yourself, the, th the words that do come out of your mouth, how you speak, how you speak to other people, the word choices that you use, like saying have to instead of get to, all the other things we'll get into. Um, <laughs> get into, right? Um, it has to do with your attitude because I, one of the quotes I love, it's Gandhi. He says, um, I'm going to paraphrase, this isn't going to be exact words, but it's like your mindset creates your words, your words create your emotions, your emotions create your attitude, your attitude creates your um I forget what he says, but I think it's like lifestyle or creates your outer world. Um, and you know, we always say that uh, your body is a direct reflection of your mind. So if your body's not where you want it to be, then there's some stuff to figure out on a deeper level of your mindset. What is programmed in you that you don't even know that you're doing, you don't even know that you're thinking, you don't even know that you believe, that you believe to be true when you were young, and that holds you back. Now, that's what I coach everybody on. I love it. I think it's super fascinating because everybody has their own unique thing, their own unique story that they build up. And although everybody has like a similar thing at the core, everybody's little offshoots are super, super different. And it, yeah, it fascinates me. But if you're craving sweets, you know, number one, don't be hard on yourself. Number two, take a second and notice that 
you, kicking the sweet craving involves the power of the brain, what Earl Nain Gill calls the gold mine between your ears. Your mind is the most powerful tool you own. And when you're able to properly utilize it with getting your thoughts right, getting your words right, getting your attitude right, getting your truths right, that is when you see incredible results. And I'm not just talking about your body. Yes, your body is going to change completely. The way you look even changes. I mean, Josh, my fiance, was shocked how different just my face looked after I figured out my blocks and I let them go and I realized how worthy I am of having a great body, how deserving I am of having a great body, how much self-love I have for myself now. Those things weren't there before and I'm telling you they take a toll on the way you look, even the look of your face, even your skin, everything. It takes a toll on you because your emotions create your body, your stress level. If your stress level is high, your body is be, being created out of something not good for you. Um, I could go on for a long time, but I'm just going to stop right there because um, I think that's enough information for you for right now. That's a lot. I just dropped a lot, a, lot, a lot of knowledge bombs. And just think about it. Just think about when you have a sweet craving that... You've programmed yourself from a young age that these sweet foods are a good way to maybe not experience an emotion or maybe it's how you do experience emotion because maybe you have numbed yourself out in your life and you just need something to feel alive. Um, there's so many different scenarios, um, but that's, that's it for a starter. Uh, I'm going to put a little bonus expert, expert excerpt <laughs> on this video in our private Facebook group. It's a free group. It's called uh, the Body Built by Love Family. You can join it if you want if you're not already in there. Uh, if you are in there, I'll be putting a bonus video in right now just with extra info on this and how you can move forward with it. And if you're super intrigued by this idea and you're like, Steph, I feel ya, I understand, and I have no idea how to break through this mindset and the motion and all this stuff, then work with me. Then let me help you. Let me show you the process that I took myself through that has worked wonders on me, has worked wonders on all the women that I coach. And these these women are doing awesome. Like a few people just started the program this last week. They're already seeing changes in their body, how they feel, their attitude, their confidence level. And even better, one of them actually just made an extra $2,000 this week. This is the stuff that happens when you really get your mind right. So just, just letting you know that crazy stuff starts to happen when you start shifting your mindset and your brain and you start controlling your brain, not letting your brain control you. That's all. <laughs> If you want to work with me, email me, Steph at StephHendel.com. It's S-T-E-P-H-H-E-N-D-E-L.com. I'm letting four more people do the program starting this week. I'm opening four extra spots because I love it that much and I feel like it's that powerful. And I, I put some of the other stuff I'm doing on the side so that I can open up more space for this. Um, it's just like, it's the most life changing thing you could possibly do. And I feel like this is my gift. This is what I want to share. I love it so much. And, um, the women are getting so many great results from it that I cannot. So if that's you, then email me. Um, if it's not, then keep watching these videos, comment, like, you know, do your thing and just get value wherever you can. Um, just start start with small baby steps and um, let me see if I can give you one step to take away. Actually, I'll put that in the private group, your takeaway step. All right. Love you guys. Happy Sunday. Hope you're doing so well. And I know great things are about to happen to you. See you later.